girl Shalane. I'm back today with the pandemic EBT video. In today's video, we're going to discuss the emergency allotment for the month of July. And guys, I already have the payout dates as well. Then we're going to talk about disaster snap benefits because yeah, that's back. We're going to talk about this summer pandemic EBT where you get $375. We're going to talk about regular pandemic EBT. We're also going to talk about how you can get $100. Yes, a free $100. And then for some states that are stopping their emergency allotment. So it's a lot, girl. It's a lot. But if you want to know what is going on in the lovely world of EBT, you already know what to do. Stay tuned. Your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi, hello, hey, friends. My name is Shalay, and here on this channel, we discuss shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. Super easy. Click the big old red subscribe button down below when you're in, just like that mama and while you're ready go to give me a like because i'm over it already right it's hump day all right don't forget to go ahead and purchase my ebook it is on sale for 14.97 so you can get on youtube y'all i'm so excited about this season in my life i got a lot of things coming to you but if you are you know somebody who wants to know i do have my laptop here so if you see me looking down that is why all right so the following states have been approved for july and that is alabama road tide emergency allotment for July guys and that's Alabama Rose Hot again Indiana Mississippi Ohio South Carolina and Wisconsin all right so in Alabama you're going to get your emergency allotment on July 31st in Indiana you're going to get it it said sometime in July um well it said the 5th through the 23rd you know the usual schedule odd days only same thing here Mississippi going to get paid July 2nd Ohio July 22nd South Carolina, July 1st through the 19th, and then Wisconsin, July 17th. So that's the emergency allotment. Those states have been approved. Let me know if your state has already said you're not going to get the emergency allotment. Comment down below. All right, so let's keep the fun going. Party over here, party over there. As y'all can see, I'm feeling it today, right? For the summer pandemic EBT, where you get an additional $375. All right, the following states have been approved. Alabama, Connecticut, Hawaii, Indiana, Maine, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, North Carolina, Ohio, Puerto Rico, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin. Alabama is going to pay out September 10th through the 23rd. Connecticut is going to pay out September 18th. Hawaii is going to do two installments, one in July and one in August. Aloha, Hawaii. All right, Indiana is going, they haven't determined when they're going to do it. They said mid-June, so you probably already received it. Check those cards, check those cards, check those cards. All right, in Maine, they are going to pay out in September. In Massachusetts, they're going to pay out tentatively on July 1st and August 1st. Michigan, they're going to pay out August 14th. Minnesota, they're going to do one installment in July and one in September. North Carolina, they said mid-June for children determined eligible. Ohio, within the first two weeks of the approval, hopefully by the end of July. Puerto Rico, July 4th through the 22nd. Washington, sometime in July. West Virginia, July 12th. And Wisconsin, late September. That is for the $375 summer pandemic EBT. All righty. Then we have the following states that have been operated for regular EBT, that's when your child was enrolled in August of 2020 through May of 2021 school year. This is that regular pandemic EBT, the first one, okay? This is the old school, the OG of pandemic EBT. How about that? All right, so some of the states I've been calling and they your people don't want to pick up, right? But I promised y'all that I was going to call and get some information. In Alabama, they've already started paying. I've already received so many uh, emails, not necessarily text messages, but direct messages on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me. I'm going to start back posting on there July 1st. All right, so follow me. But um, in Alabama, they've already started paying. People have received their cards. In Arkansas, for the regular pandemic EBT, they said you should have your cards by July 31st. In California, they said for school age children from August of 2020 through November of 2020, they're about to start sending out those cards very soon. In Kansas, they're going to pay out this fall in Maine, June 16th for the months of October through December 
of 2020. In Nevada, they're going to pay out September 10th. In Mississippi, they were approved to pay out for October through May. And they said that you will get a new card issued. They don't necessarily have a date just yet on when they're going to send it out. But your regular card, it won't be on there. They're going to send you out a new card in Mississippi. So that's what we have for the pandemic EBT. Now, I've talked about this in other videos. I'll link them in the cards above, as well as I'll go ahead and put them at the end of the video. Some states are ending or declaring their emergency declaration. They're ending that, which in return, they don't get the emergency allotment. We've already went through some of the states that are doing that. A new state that is on the list is Virginia. Virginia state of emergency is set to expire at the end of June, which they said they're going to make some changes to their programs and how they help families. So starting in August, Virginians will go back to your regular SNAP benefit amount, aka you will not receive any emergency allotment in the month of August for Virginia residents. Now they said the benefits were expected to expire in July, but the federal government provided a waiver for a month for Virginia residents. And that's what I said. So even though I'm giving you those days, you can have the Supreme Court intervene. You can have other people come and intervene and ask for some extensions. But according to one of the directors, they said, we're going to work with the Department of Social Services and with the governor to see if we can advocate for an alternative declaration, which several states have successfully done. So that way the families and neighbors can still receive the maximum benefits, especially during the summer when kids are at home and school, you know, they're extra mouths to feed. So that was the director. They're trying to do something. But as of right now, that's what we got going on, Virginia. OK, so prepare yourself prepare yourself. Like my shirt said, we over it, right? We over it. But get us our money. We kind of need that. Yeah, we do. All right. So moving along, we have disaster benefits that are back on the map. And this is for Kentuckians and people that are in Louisiana that were affected by flooding. So Governor Andy announced on Monday that if you were affected by the recent flooding, you may be eligible for disaster food stamps. They are opening that process today and it will go for until three, I think they said they're going to keep it on there until Monday, June 28th. So a six day process. Now, these benefits are for flood affected residents who worked in the following counties between February 26th and March 14th on there. So residents that were affected in these counties would not nor ordinarily receive or be eligible for any type of benefits under SNAP guidelines, but you may be eligible for a disaster SNAP if your home or belongings were damaged or destroyed, or if they, you know, some type of disaster related loss that you had, you can apply in person at the local offices. Now in Louisiana, they have the same thing, but they have certain zip codes that are affected. If you live in one of the five parishes, you may qualify for disaster SNAP benefits as well. And according to the governor, he said it's really for individuals who typically would not qualify or be eligible for SNAP, because of this, they said they're going to open the applications on Monday, run them through Friday. And they said on the first day, they received over 1,400 people that called in. And they said for a disaster snap, even they're looking for a larger group of individuals. It said it could be an individual that makes $5,000 a month, but you know, they were impacted by the flood in some way. Maybe your building space was closed down. Maybe your home had some type of disaster going on. They're not going to get a full $5,000, but if you go ahead and go through the website, you can be eligible for something. And they said that they, I guess they're kind of being more lenient on the income guidelines as well. So you can apply on online or if you don't want to register online you can call they do have a hotline and you can set up some information there and then they can set you up for an interview as well so that's disaster snap benefits now this is one that i love to talk about okay this is called the snap and vax campaign like vaccine i know y'all not gonna be happy with me but okay i gotta bring it so it's the SNAP and VAX offer. This is an incentive just specifically for SNAP EBT grocery shoppers. So Expensify.org is a charity with a direct giving model, and they want to do a SNAP and VAX campaign to help vulnerable people get vaccinated. And they said right now what they're going to do is for SNAP EBT cards, 
who buy, use their cars to buy groceries, they will reimburse you up to $50, right? Not only they're going to give you $50, but if you show that you have received your first dose of the vaccine after May 25th, they're going to give you an additional $50 which is a total of $100. So on there is for the first 3,000 individuals or household who's currently receiving SNAP or EBT benefits. You have to hold a US bank account on there to participate and you cannot participate in any of their previous SNAP reimbursement campaigns as well. So, I mean, it's just another, you know, I'm all out here about giving options. I'm not telling you to get vaccinated. What you do is what you do, but if you do decide to get it, and you wanted to get that additional $100 boost, you can get paid, little mama, get paid. Get paid, little mama, get paid. All right, and that's all I have, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, as always, for tuning in. If you're over it, comment that down below. Did you take a look at my new video? We had another episode of chalet vlogs believe me it's gonna get better it's gonna get better okay it's gonna get better but we doing the house renovations we post every tuesday so you know definitely subscribe to that channel check out my latest you know home renovation project let me know down below what are you cooking tonight okay what will we eat better tonight with let me know as well as purchase my ebook y'all i mean like what what we doing and sis why you not why you not buy my ebook Go ahead and purchase the ebook, and that's all I have. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you Friday. Bye, guys. And it's okay if you're over it. It's okay. We had them days, you know, you know, skip me for a few weeks. Come on back like nothing happened. You know, ask my friend Jesus. Hey, Jesus, if you're watching this video, tell them how we do here, okay? Let me know down in the comments, Jesus. Bye, guys.